Okay. This should be recording. I hope to God it is. Uh, I've been having problems again with this damn recording software. It's doing the thing again, where uh, when I when I press Alt Z to open up the overlay, it actually boots me out. So it's not. I don't know if it's technically recording the game right now, but it's just recording what's on my monitor. But it hasn't like Alt Tab me or whatever. I can't see the things in the bottom right. So I, I believe it should be normal now. I, I, I have no idea what causes it. It's literally just whenever it wants to, I guess. Um, so yeah, that's fun. Um, but anyways, hello everybody. This is Hyper, and welcome back to Bioshock Infinite. I don't even know if I, is that how I say my intro? I don't even know if I have an intro technically. Um, you know, who, who even cares really about an intro? It's not like I do this to be like a professional YouTuber. I just do this because I like playing games and I like putting them on the internet. Anyways, we're doing something. Uh, we're going to a place. I don't know where. Oh, yes. We're going to find Comstock so we can make him tell us how to I don't know how he's still standing but he's still standing like Elton John that was a bad one can you open this oh, this won't take long at all there you go but yeah we're going to uh oh do it there you go, there you go. Dibs on the girl! That fellow who said dibs on the girl deserves to go to hell. Those bro. turnstiles are one way. Should we check out the bookstore before we leave? Uh, yes. That's what I would have done, anyways. You're learning my ways. I haven't even used that. Let me try. You hold on to this. Yes, please. Much obliged. And then here all the... I don't know what the little number means. The one and the four and the th Oh wait. That's that. Do you unlock this? Come on. Something challenging. There are no challenging ones, they're all the same. Brother, what Comstock failed to understand is that our contraption is a window not into prophecy, but probability. But his money means the Lutes field could become the Lutes tear. A window. Excessive damage stuns nearby enemies. Well, that's probably helpful. What do I have right now? Oh. Nah, I think that's possible. Between worlds, a window through which you and I might finally be together. Sally! The bastard snuck in while the Vox was shooting up the place and took my girl! Got her locked up in the salty oyster. His hidden closet. He keeps all his treasures. Just need to hit the button under the register to open it. But... Stop that. <laughs> button under the register, you say? There doesn't seem to be a button under the register. Do I have a map in this game? Sally! The bastard snuck in while the box was shooting up the place and took my girl! Got her locked up in the salty oyster. His hidden closet. He keeps all his treasures. Just need to hit the button under the register to open it. But... Oh, um... Find me? 
These lock when we pass through. We won't be able to I'll return. put you down. Literally, kill yourself. I'm sorry, but I want to. I want to watch you do it. I'm gonna watch you do it. That's what I thought. It was a waste of salt, but who cares? That's a lot of money. Come back when you get some money, buddy. Can you open this? It's a simple dual dial lock. My book said most fools keep the combination no more than 20 feet away. Let's hope we find one of those fools. This might be it. Why are you so keen on lock picking and code breaking? If you put a person in a cage, they develop an interest in such things. I suppose so. And I won't be locked up again. Oh. That's not good. What is that thing? Why is that thing a. What is that. I'd rather just kill it. Elizabeth. It already says 0451. Elizabeth, you promise me. I will stop him. No. That is an oath you cannot keep. But promise me that if it comes to it, you will not let him take me back. Well, you're kind of my only way out of debt. It won't come but... to that. All right. You can literally time travel. Just not that hard. I don't know where she is. I don't care. Go ahead. I can hear the bird. I 
didn't mean to do that, but oh. Okay. I don't even know what this gun does. Ammo, take it. Owie. That hurt so bad. Get me out of here, get me out of here. Do it! On it! Oh Here you go! Perfect timing. That's not what I needed. I didn't even see what that was. 122. There's no way that holds 122 rounds, but I don't pretend to understand anything. Anybody else? Oh man. Seems right up your alley. Okay. All done. More money. Take it. Yes, please. The rise of Columbia. A look back at opening day. Man, imagine if we did have the technology to do this back in 1893. That's freaking six years before when Red Dead Redemption 2 is set. Like, that's, that's crazy. Have I seen this already? How does a floating city secede? We're still in the U.S. I don't think maps and borders exactly we need work to get to on. Let's head back outside. Isn't this Comstock House? Oh. But like, I don't think borders exactly work on a three-dimensional scale. It's kind of just a line on a map. Right, so where are we going? Do it now. There. Oh, is this Comstock House? Oh, this way. I don't even know where I'm going. Over here. Fancy putting those lock picking skills on it. Back there at the shop. What you asked me to do. Let's not discuss it. No, what did that thing do to you? If he were to take me back, 
That's death, Mr. Twin. Or something so like it, I cannot tell the difference. So is this the way I'm supposed to go? Crack this one open? Oh, this won't take long at all. Ready. Cool. Found some money. Okay, yes, catch! <laughs> That's not even that useful. You know, it's funny, I totally forgot I wasn't playing Doom Eternal there, because I just pressed left shift, expecting it to make me dash backwards. Because I was just playing Doom Eternal before this. I completely, like... completely forgot. Can you... Okay. It's done. I have the less that annoying pop up is gonna pop up whenever I run out of shield. It's like all the yellow stuff. Sounds kind of useful. Oh, well, that's all of them now. Is that pig snout? Well, at least I stopped them. <laughs> Their bodies disappeared. So much money. 2015. I have 2015 money. Oh, the symbol is stuck on my screen. Why are there a shotgun ammo in the mailbox? Whoa. 
This thing is floating. I wanted to get up there. There you go. Girl number one. Oh, girls, they want to have fun. Oh, oh girl. That's a good song. <laughs> That's so funny. My dear brother, these holes in the thin air continue to pay dividends. I know not which musician you borrow your notes from, but if he has half the genius of the biologist I now observe, well, then you are to be the Mozart of Columbia. So what, were they writing music from the future? Everybody wants to I don't even know where I'm going anymore. And yeah, that, that symbol is stuck on my screen. Hey, you. You're my friend. Founders. <laughs> I think this is Comstock House. So wait, what's back here? Wasn't the way I was supposed to go. I thought this was Comstock House because the lady or whatever was there. Wow, good thing I have like infinite stamina. Ow. It's fine. It's only a little fire. Oh wow. Comstock victories. Columbia Police Authority, but it's red. Beyond that gate lies Comstock House. Lady Comstock, how lovely to see you. Wonderful of you to make the journey, especially considering your painful death 19 years ago. Oh. Lady Comstock. The dress. The thing has mistaken me for my mother. Well, that's good. Your fingerprints do not seem to be your own today, Lady Comstock. Are you unwell? This isn't going to work. 
I think it can. Your mother's dead, Elizabeth. Yes. I think it's time I paid my respects. Let's head to where she's buried. Oh, we're gonna cut off her hand. Well, we already were there. Was that the bird in the distance that I just heard? Where are you going? Come on. What are we looking for? Well, she's following me, actually. There it is. Are we gonna jump to when she was alive? Do it! Okay. Okay, never mind. We're just... We're gonna teleport in a lock. It's your mother's grave. They have her preserved in an airtight chamber. Fingerprints will get us into Comstock House. She's your mother. A mother who abandons their child doesn't draw a lot of sympathy in my book. Yeah, Take a moment to think about what you're doing. There. Will you open the door or do I have to go in without you? I have to open a door for you? Sorry, not sorry. Elizabeth. It's her. How are you, mother? All locked up in there, huh? You and I have some common ground. Let me. No. Let me do it. Oh, that's. You see, child. You chose to follow a false shepherd, and he has led you astray. I don't, I don't know what to do. Perhaps you will listen to your mother. Oh. What the f Elizabeth, are you alright? No, where, where did she go? Hold on, you need to rest for me. No, I'm getting that hand. Elizabeth, why is your mother a ghost? <laughs> why is your She's mother? She's not. He. He used me to power that device. He opened up some kind of tear. Why do you ask what? When the delicious question is when. The only difference between past and present is semantics. Lives, lived, will live. Dies, died, will die. If we could perceive time as it truly was. What reason would grammar professors have to get out of bed? Like us all, Lady Comstock exists across time. She's both alive and dead. She perceives being both. She this finds is this condition totally understandable. disagreeable. Perception without comprehension is a dangerous combination. Look! Footsteps. She goes to unfinished business. We have to follow her. Oh. Convince her to open the gate to Comstock House. Hey, weird ghost lady. It's a shame you have need of her to enter Comstock House. Frankly, she doesn't seem all that cooperative. There is a way to bring her to reason. Three truths you must discover first. Truths which, in this world, Comstock has destroyed. If only one of you had the power to alter time and space. That would be a blessing, wouldn't it? Hmm. Sarcastic. There's something off about Lady Comstock. Yeah, oh, you I think? notice. No, you don't understand. She 
She doesn't belong here. I brought something with you. I'm just I'm sure it was her. I just create. I don't know what that is. Fancy putting those lock picking skills to work? Give it a whirl. All yours. She just do. as a result of some errant act of carnality between myself and her beloved prophet. I told the poor woman the truth, that the child was a product of our little contraption, but I think she found that less believable than her delusion. Comstock seems to have been made sterile by simple exposure to our contraption. A theory. Oh. Just as sexual reproduction can de-emphasize the traits of each parent, so goes the effect of multiple realities on our own. Your traits dissipate until they become unrecognizable or cease to exist. Well, that's not scary at all. Is the next terror even in here? Thanks. Ah! 
I just love how they float up in the air and you can just shoot them. Oh, this is different. More money. Catch. This also wasn't here before. Bank of the throne. Go ahead. On it. Bank for dead. Um, I will not. This game is crazy. And I have so much money. Footsteps seem to go down to the vault. I want to go this way. And I have so many lockpicks. Want to hold on to this? Three letters to spell the voice. Three letters. V O X. Try the typewriter. I found this by a complete accident. I know the prophet is a liar, but he cannot be. The prophet is a murderer, but he cannot be. For if the future lies only in the imagination of God, why would he reveal it to such a monster? I have so much money. Fifty percent. What's that? Fifty percent of everything people earn here goes right to Comstock as a tie. They gotta get me a job in the profit business. For real, though.
Why do I have 30 lockpicks? Okay, I guess he's just gone. And if I do this, this uh, sabotage, all their patents, all of them, Mr. Fink. Now, why does the Prophet want these two killed? For the same reason Lady Comstock lies buried. Child. And why does he want me to do it? Because only you can make it seem an accident. I don't think that's the real Lady Comstock. I think she's... I think she's a combination of herself and my feelings towards her. What do you mean? I'm just so angry. At her and at my father. I think she's her, but she's also partly me. I, I'm not even sure I understand it myself. Uh, it seems rational. The Archangel tells me that Columbia will only survive so long as my line sits the throne. Yet Lady Comstock produces no child. I have done what a man can do, yet there is no child. I've right asked the test about the matter, but even she refuses to help. Got it. Lutez says the bastard is a creation not of her womb, but of some unholy science. Which is true. The child is no more divine than I. What says that for my husband's prophecy? He begs my silence, but I can only offer him forgiveness. But with repentance, need come truth. I can suffer his lies no longer.
Because like all these dudes were just the same dudes that kept getting repossessed. Oh yes. Okay. Holy moly. You hold on to this. Yes, please. I didn't even spend that much money. Where am I going? Why are we going in here? Oh, because this is exiting and we already got the tear for this location. Excuse me, can you move? Miss Elizabeth. I probably could have found that without doing the thing, but you know. my eye hurts for whatever reason. There is so...
Well, that's Found unfortunate. Some money. Take this. I know there's snipers, I don't care. Pressing the wrong thing. Lock. That won't take but a minute. Done. But you two are hit. I took your funeral photo. Yes, and made an absolute hash of it. One doesn't expect a picture of one's cause. To come across so lifelessly. This is weird. What proof would you have that Mr. Fink would hurt the Lutesses? The Lutesses told me. The Lutesses? When? Yesterday. Yesterday morning. Rupert! They've been dead these seven days. Well, he saw them, so... Kill 
Oh, look, Lady Comstock. Tessus. And anyone yep. who knew the truth was better dead than alive. I'm not even his daughter. No, you are not. Elizabeth, listen to me. What you've been through, ain't nobody in the world deserves that. Walker. What is that? For not being your daughter. And I hated you for not being my mother. What? Oh. Crazy. I I want to be out of Colombia right about now. This thing is crazy. <laughs> okay. Did it save? 7:38. Okay. I'm gonna end this episode here. So we've officially brought Lady Comstock back to life, and then killed her ghost question mark i'm not exactly sure if we did but uh ap apparently we did we, we we have now fought literal ghosts um so yeah th this story is just getting crazier and crazier and i almost feel like the more convoluted it is the more i'm actually enjoying it because it's like it it's crazy, and I, I will admit, I'm a sucker for, like, time travel, alternate universe, timey-wimey stuff. Like, I, I just got flashbacks of, like, like Titanfall 2. I don't own it, but it had a free weekend, uh, like, a few years ago, and I installed it and, and played the campaign through and through, and there's, like, there's, like, one mission where you investigate some facility, and you get, like, a time travel machine, and you can go back in time to like before it was ruins because in in the re current reality it's just ruins and then you know you have to like switch back and forth between it it's it's a really cool mission titanfall 2 campaign is just a great titanfall in itself is like a really cool franchise and a really cool series but it's completely undershadowed by every other game that it came out because like i think the original Titanfall released in like 2014, but I think, I think Battlefield, two, or not Battlefield, uh, I think uh, Titanfall 2 released like literally right after 
Battlefield 1, I might be mistaken, or like it released right around when some other really, really large game of, of, of a really big series came out, and I think it was Battlefield. So it got completely overshadowed, which sucks because like Titanfall 2 is a it, the concept is amazing. The whole thing about like it being like a, a movement shooter and it's and, and the Titans, it's so cool. But anyways, this is not Titanfall 2. This is Bioshock Infinite. I don't know why I just went on that tangent. But uh, yeah, time travel. Uh, Lady Comstock. Um, and and murder. He 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 killed his his wife. And apparently Elizabeth is not their child. But that was the impression that we got at first. And I still have no idea what this bird creature is. I don't even know if it's a creature. It could just be like a human or something. I don't know. It's obviously mechanical, so I don't know who's controlling it. But I assume we'll find everything out in due time. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next episode.